buy the book. It's called We've Got Issues. <laughs> and we all do. <laughs> we all do. We've all got issues. But it's how you treat the issue. Um, nope, don't want to get in an accident. I'm not the greatest driver. See, it's still in park and I tried to drive. Look at this cocksucker. Oh, I feel bad. He's got a handicap placard and a yarmulke on. That's a double whammy if you're trying to not get canceled. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Okay, keep it real, player. Got the Dr. Phil live show at the Comedy Store. So I want you guys to come along with me for a hot minute and, uh, and see what it's like to prepare for, uh, for a big night. Oop, this is gonna be a tough call. And you know what though, if somebody hit me dead on, I feel confident that these airbags will protect me. Got a couple of Pamela Andersons in here. Tonight's show, by the way, is uh, featuring two juggernauts. Tiffany Haddish, heard of her, Girls Trip, The Lego Movie, Lack of Boss, Haunted Mansion, Night School, New York Times bestseller with The Last Black Unicorn and, and another book. And then we've got Anthony Jeselnik, who just doesn't quit on the funny front. You know, he's got four specials. His last one, uh, 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 fire from the maternity ward is uh, arguably one of the best specials I've ever seen. And I've seen Carrot Top, and I've seen Ellen DeGeneres live twice. I've seen uh, Whoopi Goldberg. <laughs> it was actually my first, you know, I just went on The View. I don't know if you guys saw it, and Whoopi was like, Phil, what are you talking about? What, what do you mean kids are, kids are having a tough time at home? And I was like, did you not fucking listen, Whoopi? <laughs> You got some whoopee inside your brain right now. Got a, got a case of whoopee brain going on. Is what I thought. I didn't say it out loud because you want to be respectful. It's their show, but it's my time. Mm. Just got some dirty looks for some high school kids. Catchphrases are just cliches without a condom, okay? Like a catchphrase could be something like, you know, I'm in it to win it, or uh, one in the pink, two in the stink. Or, um, you know, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. And I'm, you know, first of all, the no, it's not. You broke the cookie. You smashed the cookie uh, because you, you were careless and you knocked it off the countertop, Alan. I thought about popping into that CVS to get some graham crackers, but... I don't know if I can even say that anymore. Can you say graham crackers? It's 2024. That's one thing I never understood about old uh, old ladies is their thirst for for staying active in the bedroom. But look, if you stay active, you prevent yourself from being inactive. Okay, it's just uh, it's supply and demand, but it's also demanding supply. Fuck. Oh, shit. Ha! Oh. So we're out here on Sunset Boulevard, uh, known for its, uh, well, known for everything, really, from Johnny Depp parties to, 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 to superstars leading the charge. I once saw Dennis Quaid walking out of the Saddle Ranch with Jessica Simpson's friends. Don't know where they were headed or what they were doing, but you know they were gonna be inside of each other in about 20 minutes. You got, a, of course, the Sunset Tower Hotel, super famous establishment. And then there's a Best Western Plus right next door. That's what you get on Sunset, the yin and the yang, right? It's like you walk into a Foot Locker and you go, cool, I can get some new Jordans, but I, I can also get some socks that don't fit me. That's what Sunset is. You know, it's, it's one step in the right direction and two in the wrong. Speaking of that, let's get some Dover's Pizza. What's up, player? How are you? Good, good. Dr. Phil, nice to meet you. Yeah, likewise. I appreciate you. What's your name? Cole. Cole, pleasure. First time in Dover X, heard a lot about it. Nice, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Big fan of YouTube, big fan of pepperoni, so. Oh, yeah. Well, so, 
I've got a fresh one that just came out. I'm not even going to sell this one because it kind of fell apart. I'll just throw it in for free. Now, how often does that happen where a piece of pizza just gets tossed because it, it's too old? That's a very Hollywood thing to do, right? Here, not so much. We go through it pretty quickly right. as far as being old. Sometimes, though, as you can see, like for this one, it kind of just got pulled apart from the other slice. No, it so looks it, like somebody took a bite of it. Or... Yeah, it looks like it. Um, well, no, I think it definitely I'm happened. Gonna, I'll have what he's having. Oh, fuck, the box won't close. Cleaning out a couple of closets. Got some storage units. I bought this vintage soccer jacket. Uh, it's from a, a youth team in Seattle called the Hot Shots. It says Adam on it. I went to a school with a kid named Adam. He got hit by a bread truck when he was 12, so I figured, hey, maybe I'll wear this and think of him, you know? See, we got billboard from Maestro. See, we're always selling something. That's Bradley Cooper right there. I don't know if you can see him. Can you see Bradley Cooper? Got into 15 uh, hours of makeup just to look like a rabbi from the 40s. Haircut looks like he hasn't showered in weeks, but that was that's what it was like back then to be a conductor. You know, you fucking... That's That was the thing I always loved about conductors. They just, they fuck, you know, give me more clarinet and flutes, trombones, two, three, four, tuba, 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 you know. Give me that, more drums. <laughs> if you can get an Oscar, people pay attention to you more. They start going, all right, this guy fucks. You know, Brad Pitt, I think he's got an Oscar. Certain guys just haven't done it yet. John Lithgow, that's a guy, you know, you ever seen Harry and the Hendersons? Harry, get out of here, Harry. We don't have room for you in the family, Harry. You know, where's his golden statue? He got Bigfoot to not beat his wife or eat his children. He got Bigfoot to come in his house, do his son's homework, cook him a meatloaf stroganoff, and, uh, and then send him back into the wild like it wasn't a big deal. Was, you know, you, he hit Bigfoot with his... Uh, Honda Accord in the middle of the woods and then uh, felt bad, strapped him to the top of the fucking car. Bigfoot woke up, Argh! fucking tried to chew Lithgow's face off, Terry Shavo style. Was unsuccessful, but was successful in making an impact. And that's why I love Bigfoot's making an impact and an imprint, no pun intended. You know what? Pun intended. Harry! Harry, wh where are you going with that meatloaf, Harry? This bitch is trying to merge. And don't take that uh, offensively, okay? I call everyone bitch. We used to have a goldfish named Samson. I called him bitch every morning. You want food, bitch? It's a term of endearment. You want to merge, bitch? You know, I'll get a coffee from Starbucks. Thanks for the cold brew, Lynette. I mean, bitch. <laughs> it's all about purpose and intent. If you don't mean it offensively, it's not gonna come off that way. You understand what I'm saying? Look at that dog taking the shit. What a great laugh. What a great laugh. That dog's just like, I'm gonna shit right here. And this guy's like, I think I got a bag. I love picking up your shit, man. That's a big, well, that dog is dropping poop for days. Yeah, he, see, it took him four times to, he had to use almost both hands to pick that up. What a laugh to be a dog, huh? <clears throat> if there's any animal I could be in my life, it'd be a, probably a pterodactyl. Those guys fucking rule, you know? Pterodactyl can fly wherever it wants, unlimited gas mileage. They've got that big ass beak. They're extinct, so you got that going for you. There's only a couple of you left. You're like a CD-ROM or a <clears throat> or a porn star, you know, who hasn't had constructive surgery. Bullshit Hollywood tours. 
Dr. Phil over here. How are you? Uh, just having a great day, looking to find some soup. Now, was a joke. How about a strip club? You guys, right behind you. raise your hand if you like a uh, bear white titties. Bye, guy. Hey, Dr. Phil, live here. I've been accosted actually by a tour guide once. My second week in Hollywood. The guy said, uh, "There's Dr. Phil McGraw." I said, "What's up, player?" He goes, "Phil." Uh, Give us some advice. I was like, what the fuck did you just say to me? Free advice? Would you go to Wolfgang Puck and say, hey, make me a, a tuna tartare now? No, you'd, you'd get to know him, you'd finesse. You want some advice, player? I said, if you think you can, you can. And if you think you can't, you can't. Quitting is an option. You know where I read that? A 24 hour fitness towel. World famous comedy store. You got three rooms, the original room, the belly room, and the main room. Let me go ahead and flip around here, get things situated. Like I said, this is where dreams are made, magic happens. Sometimes people uh, have their lives ruined here because comedy is a, an up and down sport. Some, oh my, my car just queefed. Sometimes you, you get on stage and you go, this was the greatest time uh, of my life tonight. I've seen it happen. I come to shows here all the time. And that's the, uh, the rigmarole of the stand-up comedy world. You feel those nights where you go, that wasn't, my, that wasn't it. That joke I thought was going to crush actually crush my soul to live. I always bring a couple Thai options and some egg bites. Egg bites, Thai, egg bite Thai. If I was straight on a desert island, which one would I take? Egg bites or Thais? <laughs> Probably the Thai so I could fuck them. You know, maybe one egg bite and one Thai. Pop an egg bite and then go, fuck it, wasn't my time. Look at this, we got Justin Martindale, Kanye West, Chris Porter, Jeff Daniels, Sean Kemp, Cisco, the, the rapper, Jeff Scott, RIP, living legend right there. Musical notes next to his name because he played the keyboard in the original room of the comedy store for coming up on 30 years. Unbelievable, unbelievable talent, unbelievable human being. Rest in peace, Jeff Scott, we love you. We got Barbie from the Barbie movie who's, uh, has been here. Owen Smith, it's my first black friend in Hollywood. Down here we got Christina Pazitsky, Melissa Villasenor, and Adam Ray. Mary Foot Kill. I just started doing that because I saw basketball players do it. Look at this shit, look at this. The walls and the halls of the comedy store. Pretty cool. They put all the uh, paid regulars' faces up here. Oh, that tuna salad is not sitting right. Hopefully it doesn't come up while I'm on stage. Follow me up here is the original room for the comedy store. This is where uh, this is where things really, really got going. You know, you can see all the names: Kennison, Dice Clay, Shanling, Mitzi Shore, Mitzi Shore, and Polly right next to each other, mom and son. Of course, you got Jimmy Walker in the corner, Richard Pryor, Robin Williams, Michael Keaton, motherfucking Batman was a comedian. Hey, what do you? What do you call a pussy ass bitch who doesn't want to fight me to protect the Gotham City? Joker. That's my impression of Michael Keaton doing stand up. This is the back bar of the comedy store. So later tonight, people will be uh, getting drinks. The comedy store uh, staff is legendary. They're uh, the, probably the best in the biz slinging drinks, getting cocktails and food. They're fast, they're efficient, and they're likable. You gotta be likable if you're a bartender. Nobody wants, hey, can I get a Jack and Coke? They want you to go fuck yourself. I don't want that, I want, yeah, I'll, I'll, let me pour a little extra in there for you. Okay. Great to see you, player. You too, man. Good to how see you, you. Good, good, just getting all fired up. A little pre-show. James, how are you? Good to see you, doggy. What's up, player? What's up, man? How are you? Good to see you. 
<laughs> so this is one of those uh, moments where you see before the show. Go ahead and pan around for me. You can see all the, uh, see how big the room is when no one's in here, farting it up. What's up, JT? We got JT here for diversity purposes. What's up, player? Good to see you, dog. So we're T, T minus two hours, 20 minutes till showtime. So I'm gonna uh, finish my cold brew, go over my notes, and uh, see you in a few minutes. If you uh, can't help yourself from bowing to an Asian person in public every time you see one, maybe it's time to stop going outside. Stay inside a bit, okay? Order sushi from Postmates, player. Now, I've got a new book out called We've Got Issues, and that's a book that's, uh, it's, it's uh, because we all do, okay? Not only does it break down the mistakes we've made as a country, but it's also a roadmap for your mind, because there's two sides to a pancake no matter how you flip it, but if you're full of shit, there's only one hole that's going to go out of. Does that make sense? All right, we're going to take one more commercial break and come back with our surprise guest tonight. We'll be right back. Bella, this my is so great. My wife, Robin, everybody. First time on the show. First time, but I've been to every taping. Yeah, you, yeah, you, you just, every time I say, you can stay home, you, you show up anyway. I but. need to be here. Yeah. I support you. Uh, no, I know. Well, it's a, it, but you're coming in hot. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll, I'll take it back or not. <laughs> you were truly in Paris and not backstage. That was crazy. Yes. Fuck. I well. Showing the cottage cheese and next thing I've cream, cream cheese. Yeah. Cream cheese. Either way. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Well, 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 you know, you told me cream cheese, but maybe it was cottage. I, yeah. Robin, I'm, I'm sorry. I missed you. I, I, I you, missed you. You guys, I've been married to this, this, uh, this, uh, 47, 47 years. years. I forgot, but you just reminded me, and that's why you're my partner in crime. I'd rob a bank with you tonight. I'll rob it with you. <laughs> and we can put it in my pockets. Oh, you got, this bitch has 15 pockets on her, minimum, always. <laughs> Here's my impression of robbing during intercourse in a car wash. Oh! <laughs> that's how I sound! <laughs> That's why I did it. Guys, my wife, Robin, everybody. Thank you so much for having her. Sweetheart, give me a hug. I love you so oh, much. Oh, I love you. Keep, keep going. Okay. Yeah, Chair, that character is you or I mean, dude. What are you guys calling the uh, side chick? Huh? <laughs> oh, no, not the side chick, but it's the down ass chick. The down ass chick. Yeah, dude, it's so it's, funny. We call it the side chick. I used to take them to hockey games wow. because I was thinking, oh, maybe I can marry a hockey player. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We used to go do that. It was just the last one there. Don't blame me. Come on. In the book. Can I? Can I? We did it. Episode seven. In the books. <laughs>